Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to share a super quick tip about binding um, mixed media pages. Sometimes we end up with projects on paper that are kind of super thick and you, and you don't want to fold them. Um, maybe they're too thick to bind. Maybe you are afraid that if you bind, if you fold them, that it's going to crack the page and weaken, weaken the paper. Um, and maybe you just don't want to fold it. You know, sometimes you just, you just don't want to. So I have, um, two pieces here that I had eco printed together and you can see that they are almost mirror images of each other, um, but I don't want to fold these pages. So what I'm going to do is I just lay them out on on this mat with the grids on it just because it makes it easier for me to, you know, line stuff up. And I give it about a quarter of an inch gap in between the edges of the pages in the middle. And then what we're going to do is get out our glue and you're going to choose what you would like to make a hinge out of. So there are all kinds of things that you can make a hinge out of. You can just take like tea stained paper because that will fold. You could use scrapbook paper. You could maybe even grab um, some get that out of the way, some lace. But what I'm going to do today is I just have this raw muslin and it's just a one and a half inch strip of raw muslin. That of course also is your choice of how wide you want to make your, your hinge material out of. I'm going to go with an inch and a half because, is it an inch and a half? Hold on. I don't want to lie to you. No, inch and a quarter. It's an inch and a quarter. So the reason why I went with an inch and a quarter is because I'm going to sew down the edges after I glue them on. So I'm just going to take this, um, this craft glue. Anything is fine. Any tacky glue is fine. And I'm just going to run a bead of glue along both edges. Try to keep them evenly lined up. And then this is a really long strip. What I did was I measured the height and then I doubled it and added maybe maybe half an inch more just so that we had enough to uh, to go around. So I'm just going to pat that down. And I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now you can use all kinds of, of textiles. You could use tool, you know, like the stuff that, you know, little girls' tutus are made out of. Ballerina tutus. Um, and then that way you could kind of see through it. You could use vellum, which is, you know, it's see-through. It's not. It's not totally clear and transparent, but it's it's opaquely transparent. <laughs> um, so you could do that too. There's all kinds of things you could do, and then that way you don't have to fold your big old thick, heavy mixed media pages. And what I have done on, um, I've made up several. And what I did was I went and I sewed around the whole edge with some dark green thread and then the fabric just folds in the middle and you've got yourself a, an easy folding hinge without folding your paper. And I just kind of made a mock-up of, um, this is just a file folder as you can see, an upcycled one. And then this way you just treat them as um, their own signature. So each one would be its own signature and then it could be sewn 
either into the spine or if you like to do like a hidden spine thing, you could do an easy um, three hole pamphlet stitch or you know, that's your choice. And then you'll be able to have a booklet that will open and close easily. And it kind of looks cute too because it adds a little bit more texture and a little bit more character. If you use a fabric like this that frays easily, you can fray the edges and of course it will stop where the glue where it hits the glue or um, or where you've sewn it down definitely glue it first because it can even ravel underneath um, stitches so so be careful about that but I don't know it just gives it kind of a neat a neat effect I think without um, without having to fold your pages and then you can either you know, finish off your, your mixed media pages if you wanted to do some collage on them or if you would like to bind them and write on them. Um, yeah, so this is just a, an easy, cheesy way to, to do that. All right, well, I know that was quick. <laughs> um, let's see, so Serafina is almost finished. I will probably finish her today. So um, that video will be coming up soon. The um, uh, Graphics Fairy Design Team project is also finished. Um, I will be filming that and you will be able to see that on the Graphics Fairy YouTube channel. And I will probably put um, like show a little bit of it here on a video as well, but it, the full one will be on, at their channel and I will, I will let you all know about that if, if you want to look at it. All right, guys, I hope you are all having a great day. Um, I've got a cool little DIY thing coming up really soon and um, I think you'll like that. And a big, huge hello to all the new subscribers. Hi, guys. Um, welcome, welcome. And grab a cup of coffee and, you know, pop a squat. And, you know, we get crazy here. So hope, hope you're okay with that. We get silly. <laughs> if you want seriousness, this is not your channel. Okay, I, get, I am serious sometimes, but usually it comes with um, a little bit of um, giggles along the way. So um, I try not to get too juvenile, but you know, it is what it is. All right, guys, you have a great afternoon and I will catch you really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.